Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my Back to Beauty No Buy Year. This year I'm concentrating on using my makeup and not buying any. Today I'm not using makeup at all, but I am bringing to you my empties. From now on, I'm only doing makeup and skincare with the occasional hair care if I think it is pertinent to my journey in beauty. So starting out, I have a couple of wipes here. I use these for swatches, but I still think it's worth mentioning. These are the Up and Up Exfoliating Wet Cleansing Towelettes. Um, there's 30 in here. I would not recommend these for your face. They are exfoliating because they have really rough little bumps all over the like one side of the wipe and they flake off as you use it to exfoliate your face or in my case my arm <laughs> when I'm removing swatches so I don't recommend these. And then these are from the new brand Smartly at Target. It's a 99 cent brand. Um, and again, there are 30 in here. These are unscented. I think these would work fine for your face. They are cheaply made because they are cheap, but these work really good for swatches. So I'd have to assume that they would work well on your face as well. And for 99 cents, how can you beat it? Shall we do, let's do skincare next. This is the Shea Moisture Bamboo Charcoal T Detoxifying Micellar Water with Aloe. This smells really nicely. It smells like African black soap if you're familiar with that smell. And while this is really gentle, it definitely does not take off my eye makeup and I do not wear waterproof eye makeup. Um, and it, you know, it has a lot of great things about it. No parabens, no phthalates, no propylene glycol, no mineral oil, no sulfates, and no animal testing. And it's also made with fair trade ingredients. I suppose this removes my face makeup okay, but I definitely would not buy this product again, especially for the price because it's a little bit above the $10 mark. Whereas my Garnier, which works perfectly, is like $5.99. Um, this is from the pharmacy. This is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I received this in BoxyCharm and I do love this. It smells like lime, like real limes, and it's very effective in taking off my makeup, eye makeup, and face makeup. I did find I had to go back a little bit with the eye makeup and use just like a cotton ball with a little bit of micellar water, but this is really nice. I would repurchase it. I, the, my only gripe with this one is I feel like with this one and all cleansing balms that I go through them pretty quickly and I'm very frugal with all of my skincare. Um, so there's that to think about. Next, another product that I received in BoxyCharm. This came in my Boxy Lux in December. This is the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. I actually use this as a night cream because it doesn't have an SPF in it. And I like to try and eliminate as many layers as I can on my daytime skin. So regardless, this is a beautiful pro product. It has wonderful fresh smell to it. This smells like good skincare, expensive skincare, if you will. Um, and it is really beautiful. It feels nice. It almost feels cooling when you put it on the skin, but I think it's the intense hydration that you receive. I definitely saw and felt a difference in my skin while I was using this product. However, I will put this exact price on the screen, but this is like $90 for one ounce, I believe. Yes, one fluid ounce. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's not very big in there. So it's a bummer. I mean, this is what happens sometimes with BoxyCharm or other subscription services. If you get it, you know, FabFitFun and it's really expensive and you like it and, and then you're missing out on life and not living your best life, right? 
I'm in a weird mood today and I'm having a terrible hair day. Just putting that out there. At this point, you would have already seen my April in review video in which I give you my top and bottom products, a palette, and some other shenanigans in between. And this was in the bottom this month, and it is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Purely on the amount of product that you get in this. This, should you purchase it by itself, is $55. Just like the Luna Night Sleeping Oil Retinol whatever. I love that one. Same size. And I literally used this in two weeks of alternating between this and the Luna oil. I was disgusted. I really honestly thought that the pump on this was broken because nothing was coming out. Um, turns out it's empty. You can see there's a teeny tiny little bit of product down here, but this is a joke, you guys. I'm pulling this out of here. I, you know, I thought, well, I'll take it apart. If there's cream in there, I'll dig it out. I'll put it in another vessel and I'll get to use it up. Nope, it was empty. And I think this packaging right here is a joke. I just, uh, I'm very disgusted with this. So I won't be repurchasing that. It's a nice product, but the quantity and everything and how fast it goes, not interested. Okay, I also finished the Pharmacy Do-It-All Eye Cream. Is that what they call it? Total Eye Cream with Echinacea Green Envy, whatever that is. Um, I received this in my last FabFitFun box, which would have been fall of 2018. This is a fabulous eye cream. Very, very hydrating, absorbs nicely, wears well under makeup, is equally hydrating for day or night, and I'm going to repurchase this at some point very soon. You get a lot of product in here, even though it doesn't seem like it. It's, again, a half of an ounce, but it, a little bit goes a long way in terms of the hydration it lends. Okay, so these are the Skin Iceland Blemish Dots with Willow Bark. Fabulous. I've talked on these tons and tons of times. There are little stickers. You put it over your little friends, visitors, zits, whatever you call them, and you leave it on overnight, and in the morning it is no longer raised, angry, or any of it. It's gone. I mean, maybe a little discoloration. I don't know if you can tell that I had a friend over here gone overnight with these things. Love it. Already repurchased it. Let's do a couple of declutters and then we will do empties. So the first thing I'm decluttering and I don't think I will even pass it on to anyone. This product is garbage. This is the Pacifica Pineapple Quench Oil-Free Water Serum. It says moisturize and prep pineapple and hyaluronic acid oily and combo skin types. First of all, it says serum. This is definitely not a serum. Um, and this is what it says on the back. It says oily skin needs moisture too. This daily use water light serum helps provide a burst of needed hydration. A magical oil free combo of ingredients includes hyaluronic acid, pineapple extract, Hanandula and aloe vera. A perfect prep for your favorite mattifying makeup. Plus it's fresh and amazing just like you. It says can be used day and night. Apply to clean skin. Reapply when extra hydration is needed. I don't even know what the frank this is exactly for <laughs> if I'm being honest. I've tried it a myriad of ways. Oh, I got it on my nose. <laughs> Abort. Anyhow, smells really nice. I have the Pineapple Matte Mist, which is why I picked this one up because I thought it might be similar and that I might enjoy it. No bueno. When I put this on my face, I get that really, really tight feeling and it's so tight that when I move my face, it like feels like it's cracking, almost like putting on a layer of a mud mask and I don't like that. Um, underneath makeup, it looks like garbage. It was... It made my makeup look cakey and I don't know. I just, there's 
nothing great about this product. All right, so three products that have expired on me. The first one is this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Lip Pencil in the shade Fuchsia. It's a real bummer. It's just like super dry now, especially for a lip liner. This is just a nice berry lip liner. It swatches on my hand just fine, but I could not get this to go onto my lips for anything. So I'm going to trash it. Whoa. And then the next thing is the very first primer I ever bought on a recommendation of Nikia Joy. She's an Aussie babe and a beauty influencer. <laughs> Anyhow, this is the NYX Shine Killer. It's definitely a shine killer. It has that real slippy feeling. I would absolutely call this a drugstore dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, the plain clear one. Um, I just found I, I really don't need this. And so it sat around, it sat around, and it now has a funky smell and is a non-clear color so that one's going in the trash as well um and then the last one is something that i picked up at where was it marshall's and <clears throat> i ended up picking it up in two shades this is the medium shade and it is the stila aqua glow serum concealer do i have the other one in here oh there it is okay so I'm going to declutter both of these. Um, neither one of them is a shade match for me, not for my skin, not for my under eyes, as well as I think these are going off as well. They have a really funky scent to them. They're starting to separate and regardless of shaking them very well and kind of like squeezing the tubies and all of that jazz these are no longer fresh so these guys are going in the trash and i hope you guys don't think that i take it lightly throwing makeup in the trash um for any reason and i certainly don't it's always a bummer when makeup goes off but i made a mistake when i first started getting into makeup and i bought more than i could use and i also bought things that were just not appropriate for my skin type for my skin tone etc etc and I bought them just because they were a good deal so it's a bummer and I'm working hard to prevent that from happening in the future <clears throat> just putting that out there and the rest is makeup empties <laughs> so I finally finished my very first bottle of fix plus this is the Mac prep and prime fix plus in case you're new to the beauty world and I use this mostly for foiling eyeshadows on a rare occasion I will treat myself to misting my whole face with it after applying makeup um, but this is the one and only thing that I use to foil eyeshadows that doesn't irritate the sensitive skin on my eyelids and etc so this lasted me forever well over a year I'm working on my second bottle now and I love it. Uh, it's a cult favorite for a reason. <laughs> Just saying. Let us do mascara, shall we? All right. So I have a mascara primer. This is the Lancome Seals Booster XL Vitamin Infused Mascara Primer. I just don't think I'm meant to use a primer. This one is very goopy. It has a very chemical smell almost like nail polish remover which is actually part of why I didn't want to continue to put it on my eyes I tried it I just don't think I'm the one for using a mascara primer I like my mascara to just lengthen and define my lashes and darken them a bit so this is just not for me and then I did finish up the Monsieur Big mascara I received this as part of my birthday gift from Ulta in January and I loved this mascara it was really nice it's 100% my jam natural bristle brush not goopy not dry not saturated it's just a good mascara it started to dry out and flake on me and I would absolutely use this product again 
I probably would not pay full price for it, but I would buy it at a discount or, you know, take another sample if I saw it on the Sephora points, perks, something like that. And then this mascara from Grande Cosmetics or Grand whatever. This is the Grand Mascara Lash Boosting Formula. This is so much like the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara in that it is so goopy. It also has a really thin natural bristle brush, although not quite as thin as the one that I just said. <laughs> so while I tried and tried and tried to use this, I could not make it work for me just like the IT Superhero. Um, it's just too goopy and I'm not into goopy spidery like tarantula lashes that's not my jam so fortunately I did not pay full price for this I also received this in my boxy lux in December hey, my back itches today it would be appropriate for me to use an eyebrow pencil to scratch my back so let's talk lip products I have four <laughs> I'm not doing these empties videos any month, any month, every month anymore because I just don't find that I'm going to have that many empties. Also, like I said, I'm only going to be doing skincare and makeup, so I kind of have to stock up on empties for a few months before I have enough to, for a video, I think, even if it's a longer video. This thing is very sticky and I can't wait to throw it away, but... This is the Ulta Cozy Lip Oil. This was one of the minis that they put out for the holidays. And this is in the Scent Peppermint Candy. I love these lip oils from Ulta. The mint one was very pleasant. I like mint lip products. So I would absolutely get that again in the future. All right, and then next, a sad, sad song for Kyra. <laughs> This is my Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in the shade Blush. Um, these are amazing. I prefer these to the Buxom glosses. I prefer these to the Bare Mineral Gen Nude glosses, which I actually really like. I just prefer these all together. They're super nourishing and I use them mostly as a lip prep while I'm doing the rest of my makeup and my eyeshadow and stuff. Um, so yeah, pop the stopper on this baby. You can see that there's like a tiny bit at the bottom. Um, not all the way around, really just on the one side because it was laying there, but it is all the way gone and I'm very sad about it because I only have one more and this is my Novi year and so I don't know if this falls within a category that I'd be able to repurchase it just yet. And then... I did finish from my birthday era project pan, which by the way is now over for me. I rolled what products I had left into my choose your own adventure and I'm going to continue with it there. But this is the little tiny buxom uh, full on lip polish in the shade Dolly. I love this. It's, it's nice, but I definitely prefer the Milani ones and they are way cheaper. The shade was nice. This was a really pretty mauve -y, um, color with a little bit of sheen to it but not glitter particles so I like that and then this is the NYX butter gloss in tiramisu this was in my choose your own adventure and project panning project and I finished it up I was so surprised how long this took and of course you can see there's that tiny bit at the bottom that you can't get to with the doe foot I originally thought that the packaging on the tube was opaque. It is in fact translucent and I proved that by using it all gone. <laughs> and I actually feel really satisfied about um, finishing this one. I love the formula. I absolutely would buy more in the future after my know by year. <laughs> Alrighty, moving along. This is my IT Brow Power Pencil. This was also in my Choose Your Own Adventure and Panning. Uh, we've had a little casualty here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Oh, nope. I just broke it. Did I? Oh, see? I don't know what happened, but the product was not in this end when I opened it. I was like, oh, did it fall out somewhere? Whatever. It went to put it back on. Nope. It was, oh, there it was. It was in the lid, and then I smashed it. 
when I put it in there. So I'm calling this finished. I used more than three quarters of this product, so I am going to count this as a year long makeup empty. And I'm so glad that it's gone because now I can use my favorite, which is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And then I did use up another product in my birthday era project pan, and it was this little tiny Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I love this stuff. This is absolutely the matte primer that I will purchase once I'm able to purchase one. Uh, I love this. I've used probably five or six samples of this right now, and I'm almost finished with this one. Um, so you'll see that in my empties next month or not whenever in the future. <laughs> it smells amazing. It does have a cooling sensation when you put it on the skin. I also find that this is like the perfect amount of matte for me. It's mattifying, but not in a, your makeup's going to look super matte way. It's in like a makeup extending type way, um, which is why I should be able to repurchase this pretty soon. I just, I love this. This is my favorite Holy Grail primer. I don't know why I didn't buy it before now. I must be crazy. <laughs> and then two last makeup empties. The first is my NYX HD finishing powder in the shade Translucent. She's all gone and good riddance to bad, rub bad rubbish. Yes. And then I have the, oh, I guess I should give more of a review on this. This is super powdery. I mean, it just whoofs everywhere when you stick your brush into it. It does leave a little bit of a white cast that goes away when you set your face with a spray of some sort. Um, I just won't ever buy this again. I think I've talked before about this in my update that I do think if you have oily skin, this would be an ideal blotting powder. But again, you would need to follow it up with some kind of a facial mist just to set the powders down. And then this is my little tiny Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. This was also, these were both in my Choose Your Own Adventure Project pan. Um, and I finished that up. So I'm really excited on all of the makeup that I've finished up so far this year. A bronzer, a powder, primers, lip products. I have a feeling this year might be epic in terms of my year-long makeup empties. So I'm very excited for that because apparently that is a big thing here on YouTube. <laughs> and on that note, I hope you enjoyed all of these mini reviews on my skincare and makeup that I have used all gone. <laughs> and I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days. And I will see you in my next video soon.